What's going on everybody? Hope you're ready for the Friday filming locations. 1995, Ice Cube, Chris Tucker, Tommy Lister Jr., rest in peace. John Witherspoon, rest in peace. We're going to go hit the street that this film was filmed on, also the convenience store they used. I've been looking forward to doing this a long time. Also, rest in peace to Bernie Mac, who was in this film. John Witherspoon, like I said. And also, Michael Clark Duncan. A lot of people don't know this, but try to spot the scene that I cover in this film, which includes Michael Clark Duncan. Let me know in the comments which scene that was. All right, let's go. Friday filming locations. So here we are at the Friday house. There's Craig's house right there, Ice Cube's house in the film. And you can go up, pay the man who owns the house, and uh, give him $20. You can sit right there, just like Craig and Smokey did. Get a picture. They've got merch here. We're going to go over everything from the film. There's Craig's house. We'll go over uh, just past these three palm trees seen in the film. They walk right between the palm trees. Stanley's house over here. Miss Parker across the street and Smokey's house. We're gonna go over everything. One of my favorite movies. So glad to finally be here. Friday. Yes. Put it in your mouth. Shut up. It's pretty cool as the film begins. Get to see Craig's house. Man, there's so many good actors in this. Bernie Mac, Ice Cube, Chris Tucker. Tommy Lister Jr., rest in peace to him, who he played Debo. Check this out. They even have Debo's bike here. Look at that. Debo's bike. Debo's bike. Some uh, awesome merch here. Look at these Friday house hats. Look at that. Pretty cool. These. <laughs> These would be good in Canada. Man, this is really cool. This guy is a major entrepreneur. Some classic shots from the film. Damn! There's Big Worm. What a big perm. I mean, Big Worm. Playing with my emotions. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions, smoke. Play with your money? I never play with your money. Great man. Look at this. We got. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he Come on. In Hawaii. How about a how about a dollar? A dollar and some envelopes. Rest in peace to this guy, AJ Johnson. He's hell. Hell no. All you're gonna do is smoke it up. And we got uh, to give a rest in peace to this man. Hawaii. Tommy Lister Jr. Debo. Debo. No. Yeah, it's uh, right over here where Stanley lived. <laughs> what up, Stanley? Fuck you then, punk. <laughs> I told you, gentlemen. Not gonna tell you again. Stay off my grass. All right, man. Cool. Oh. Also gonna say rest in peace to one John Witherspoon who to me really made this film as funny as it is right off the bat when Craig's uh, trying to get a bowl of cereal in the morning and all the interiors were in fact filmed in here. Craig's room, the kitchen. I want pig feet. He's like, what are you doing with that cereal? <laughs> we ain't got no milk. You better put some water on that shit. Rest in peace, John Witherspoon. Tell your daddy to comb his hair. Like a bunch of spiders having a fight on his head or something. They're just up here chilling, getting high, and then you'll hear the squeaking of the wheels as Debo comes up the street. Oh shit, Debo, hide your stuff, hide your jewelry. 
motherfucker known for stealing. That's all he do. He pulls up on his bike. Y'all some high rollers, and y'all this broke. Debo. Not want this man to approach looking at me like that. How about you, Smoke? What you got? Ain't got nothing, man. Got nothing, man. <laughs> Stanley left his window open. Let's go over there. Man, uh, I'm on probation, man. I ain't doing that. You gonna do it, or else you gonna get knocked out too. This is awesome. Yeah, we got Stanley's house here. And obviously, uh, th these were the windows over here that <laughs> Debo and Smokey go in. Smokey goes in first, and Debo climbs in after. You got about $200, huh, Debo? I got about $200. Huh? What time your mama leaving? Cause I wanna smoke this joint. So they're right here on the steps, rolling one. Smokey was rolling one, and then Bernie Mac pulls up right in front of these houses. I said, hey, give me a little bit of that just for my cataract. Smokey goes, you didn't put in on this, man. And he gets distracted by Miss Parker across the road. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. Directly across the street at 1423. Where you'd see Miss Parker watering her garden right here. Miss Parker! Hi, boy. Good. Stanley's house. The Friday house. So they're over here still smoking. And then Miss Parker's husband comes home when Bernie Mac's still in there. So you see Tony Cox come out chasing Bernie Mac. Little Tony Cox comes ripping around the corner. This is Stanley's house here. Look at this, they've got some sort of like witch zombie right here. I almost thought it was a person. I thought it was Stanley. Look at these three palm trees that you see clear as day in many, many scenes in Friday. It's pretty cool. I told you, gentlemen, stay off my grass. I love what Stanley trips right there. Be a stupid motherfucker to get five on your day off. I'm not mistaken, they had like a weight bench set up over here where Ice Cube would, uh, Craig would do his uh, bench pressing right over here. It was right on this walkway. And if they use the same house for next Friday, this is where John Witherspoon came out and went, Craig! Well, fuck you! Right up to the house, especially if you pay the $20. Look at this jacket. It's a nice Friday jacket. Hey, kitty. It's okay. The Friday house. You can buy this nice jacket. It's awesome. Can't get enough of looking at this. The window that uh, helps him out of. <laughs> and Stanley comes home just as they're coming out of the window. I told you, gentlemen. Stay off my grass. He's just standing between these trees here. Is it? Hand on each tree. Hand on each tree. For the last time, would you please stay off my freaking grass? Please! All right, man, sorry. Thank you. Coincidentally enough, not at Stanley's house, but across the street at Miss Parker's, there's a warning, keep off my grass sign right there. I told you boys, stay off my grass. And if you do come here, be respectful. Stay on the public sidewalk. You can film, take pictures of whatever you want if you're on the public sidewalk. Don't enter their driveways, except for at the Friday house, especially if you pay the $20. He's totally cool with it. But you can see these houses perfectly. It's Parker's house. But just staying on the sidewalk. When, like, Ezel falls on the grass, and he's like, man, get your punk ass up. That's Gary Gray. He's a director. Oh, it ain't even wet over here. Yeah, he wet over here. Okay, so the director lived in this house where, with the knockout scene and the bike, as we were just informed. Gary Gray, okay, that's awesome. This was filmed in 1995. I still the same. I light up like when Debo's like walking out of there. He's like, hey, Debo. Yeah. And he walks out, you can see there's perfectly like the, yeah. the little cross braces and everything. Like, yeah. I love it. So the director grew up in this house. That, that's an interesting fact. Now we're, uh, 
Welcome at the Friday house. Shot of Tommy Lister Jr. here. Notice that beam right behind him. That was right here. This is actually the knockout house. This is directly across the street. They're fixing the bike from the Friday there. house. Yeah, so he was fixing the bike and uh, they were they were rolling the dice and stuff. Doing something here, and then uh his dad and buddy pull up here. He's like, hey man, Pops is tripping, wants me to get my bike back. He's like, you know, it's both of us, but we'll keep it at my house. Debo's like, okay, we'll grab it. So his foot was laying like right here. So you see that matchup one more time? Okay. After he gets knocked out, he's laying right here at the edge of the driveway. So the bike was right here. He's, he's right laying here. right here. <laughs> I told you not to come down here messing Debo. with these folk. You want some old man? Noticing, of course, the house across the street that has the garage that they hit on top of during the drive-by. Right there. Everything still looks the same and when it comes to these houses. It's awesome. What a great street to live on because yeah, of that TV. film. Okay, so looking at it, this is where uh, Debo gives him the bike back and then knocks him out. Him and his dad pulled up here. This is the house, but when he actually knocks him out, Jesse's actually then studying this here's the knockout shot after being punched on his way to the ground do you see that uh pole to the left with the light i thought it was this one it would be if, if uh, the continuity in the movie was the same you probably would have got knocked out here you would see that pole but there's no palm trees right so it had to be in front of miss parker's house yeah so it's funny they definitely shot that in that driveway However, clearly they used a different shot when he's flying through the air. Yeah, it's of this pole here. So they just backed it up a little bit. It's pretty interesting. And that is what we call movie magic. So there's the shot right there. It's a palm Telephone tree. pole, palm trees. There you go, right there. You just push up the way to 1433. And we're at Smokey's house. This was Chris Tucker's house in the film. I think there's a part where he says, uh, what time's your mama leaving? Just over there at Craig's. And he says, uh, why? Because I want to smoke this joint. Let's go back to my house. Can't do nothing over here. And they come back over here. Smokey goes in. I wonder if they shot Smokey's room in there. He gets high in his room. Look at these cute little palm trees. And he goes, Mr. Jones, can I use your bathroom? He goes, what you gonna do? Number one, number two. Number two. Ain't dropping no stinking loads here. <laughs> Why would he? He literally lives this far. Like the Friday house is right there. And Smokey's house is right here. So he runs back here and you actually see him take a jump right at the door. Mama! Mama! Chris Tucker's house. Smokey in Friday. And the funny story is they didn't actually pay Chris Tucker for his work in Friday. He didn't get his paycheck, so he did not sign on to next Friday. However, there is a rumor that they may be doing yet another Friday and getting Chris Tucker back. I have my doubts, but that would be cool. Anyways, this was Chris Tucker, Smokey's house in the film. Side of the house right there. Goes in, <laughs> his mom's just looking at him. Get your ass up and cook. Clean and do something. She gives him money for cigarettes. Oh, 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 this ain't enough. Make it enough. Damn. Pretty awesome. Literally sit here all day and think about moments from this film. Cool. But there is another spot we have to check out from Friday. And that's the convenience store. And that's not too far from here. So I'm gonna head over there, check that out. And then we'll come back here. Let's see more of the street where they film Friday. 
here we are at Beer Market, used in Friday, 1995. This is the only other spot that's not on that street from that film. So, this is the convenience store that they used. Hello, me. Come on, man. This is fucking 40 ounce for my birthday. Today your birthday? What's today? All right, so they enter the convenience store right here. They see uh, Giselle right away. Try to uh, score some freebies. I would not just come in here and film, so if you do come to this location, convenience store from Friday, might as well buy something. Look, the floor is the exact same as it was in the film. Isn't that awesome? Come on. 25 cents in some envelopes. Buy me a bottle of liquor. It's my birthday. Is it your birthday? What day is it? Hey, buzz. That's from Hump. Hey. Get these for me. Hang up. The floor, everything's still the same. Pretty awesome. Friday, 1995. Here's where Smokey was standing, looking over, uh, looking for a pack of papers, some smokes. Right here. Chris Tucker, an ice cube, standing here. And now we're gonna head back to the street where all the houses are on. This is the convenience store. Ezel, Ezel followed them <laughs> out right there. Pretty cool. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. This is uh, Felicia's house. So. <laughs> Felicia fucking Debo too. Shh. So Felicia and Debo were in there sleeping and uh, Cray, uh, Smokey goes through the window to try to get the money and get his chain back. Debo's sleeping there's like a, like a, <laughs> there's like a big slush puppy or something <laughs> that he's got there and he like roofs his like skid mark underwear <laughs> with the straw of the big gulp. <laughs> And he has to get out of there before he wakes up, and then Debo wakes up and he takes a sip. So this was Felicia's house, right there. It looks similar how it did in the film. Everything does. It all looks, all these houses look just like they do in the film. And they're all on the same road here. Pretty awesome. It's Felicia's house. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. So y'all just parlaying up in here, huh? Oh, shit. Party uh, over here? Uh, to the right of <laughs> Smokey's house is where he was actually taking a crap just over here and Ezel, Ezel comes walking up the sidewalk na, 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 na. <laughs> hey Smokey and where I'm standing it looks like you back there taking a shit hey Smokey back there taking a shit I wish I could just yell it at the top of my lungs but I don't want to be too rude even though everyone here is extremely nice what, what, what a classic scene. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell nobody else, no. <laughs> da, 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 da. I like them. Hey, Smokey back here taking a shit. This woman, this is the one that keeps calling the house. You tell that girl to stop calling here. Who'd you go to the show with last night? I didn't go to the show last night. You was all hugged up with somebody. Just to the left of Craig's house, owner was telling me this is where they ran down during the drive-by. So when Big Worm was looking for his money, eventually he came rolling this way. They came out. They're like, I ain't scared of nothing. And they eventually saw a car just parked here, slowly approaching. And they knew what that meant, so they end up running this way. So these people here at 1412 actually own the garage that they were standing on top of. Pretty awesome. Right to the left of Craig's. Ah! It's out that shriek. 
I can't even do it. That's Chris Tucker, man. Chris Tucker. Glad you did. They really should have paid him for this. Another shot of Craig's house here. Rest in peace, John Witherspoon. Tommy Lister, Jr. I used to love uh, his work in WWF. As Zeus. Had lots of legendary matches with Hulk Hogan, so crazy to think that all these famous celebrities were right here. Stanley's house. Even these hugely grown palm trees now. These have gotten way taller since the filming, but they look the exact same down here. They're, they're celebrities too. Bernie Mac pulled up here, rest in peace to him. And then we got Tony Cox. And just such a great film. Such a great film. Pretty cool. So they painted the house once. As you see, it was uh, orange in the film. So it's blue now. Looks a little nicer. They said that his mom wanted to paint it because, see, orange gets kind of a dirtier uh, color than blue. And they actually then painted it orange again for next Friday. When the final uh, climaxing scene of the film happens, the fight between Ice Cube and Debo takes place right over here and pretty much ends up on this property. That's where Ice Cube hits him with a brick. Hits him with a brick, getting the upper hand in the fight. An equalizer, I'd say. I'd say it was an equalizer. But uh, then he gets the better of Debo. Just got something else cool. Speaking of the climax of the film, which takes place over here, this is the actual brick that Craig hits Debo in the head with to gain the upper hand. This is the actual brick. Yep. How did you uh, How did you get that? How did you procure that? They just, they, they just they left it and we just took it. Oh my god. Yeah. So you've lived here since the uh, filming of the movie? Yeah, really? That's awesome. Man, that's so awesome. The whole this that's is the brick so right here. That's so good. This yeah. is the brick. It's okay, I won't take the brick. Dude, that's, that's like the perfect, man. Let's wake it up. Subscribe to this guy's YouTube channel. Yes, it's at the Friday House, and our Instagram is Craig House Friday. Come and check us out. We open from Monday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to his channel. I can't believe that brick is there. Wow. And I've touched it. Jesus. Mind. Yeah, so nothing cooler than that, actually seeing the actual brick that hit Debo. That is so cool. I assume maybe it was one of these bricks. That's pretty awesome. I love that fight. Hmm. Gentlemen, stay off my grass. Please. Who else wants to? Who else wants some of Debo? Whole cast was out here. Rest in peace, John. John Witherspoon and uh, Tommy Lister Jr. So cool. So cool that we got to see that brick. Friday, 1995. You lose, son. But you live. You live to fight another day. Got a perfect day to do this, so me and Jesse had to come and check this out. Yep. Needed the perfect blue ambiance. I can't get enough of these three trees here. So awesome. Craig's house. Stanley's house. Drive-by garage at that house. Knockout scene from the bike. Miss Parker's house. Smokey's house and Felicia's house. Pretty damn cool. This is a heck of a street. Excuse me. What? Could y'all stay out for grass, please? Thank you. Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. Touch it better than that. It's awesome. What a good movie. Really good fight at the end, too. 
Please like, please subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe and let you know when a new episode goes up. Never know what you may be missing here. On the Mr. Thrasher show, we're in dangerous territory. Gotta be careful for drive-bys here. I would just hide behind these palm trees. Anyways, check out my filming locations playlist. It's growing. Oh my God, it's drive-by. We're at the Friday house. Thanks a lot for sticking around if you made it to the end of the video, everybody. Love this film. Love this film. Debo's bike. Again, you can come here, get merch. Pay $20, get your pick on the porch. And they don't limit you to one. They hook you up pretty good, so. I'm really tempted to buy a shirt or a hat. One of these would be really good up in Canada. Definitely. So thanks again, everybody. Take it in one last time. <laughs> Friday house. All right. I'm gonna go smoke one. It's a bit of it. I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Because it's Friday. It's wicked. It was nice to actually uh, smoke a joint here. It's pretty cool. I don't usually do that, uh, you know, in my episodes, but we're at the Friday house and uh, was allowed, so. And don't mind if I do. Beautiful palm trees. Cool property. I like how they don't change it. Friday, 1995. At the end of the movie, I think actually the last scene you see in the movie would be Smokey in his bedroom. He's talking to Big Worm and he goes, well, you can have your money. You sell that shit yourself next time. I'm going to rehab. Going to rehab. And he gets off the phone. He lights, he's laying on his back. Lights it up. I was just bullshitting. And you know this, man.